Good afternoon and welcome to the preview of Huff Master Hopper gravel all road slash real fun bike ride slash race coming up May 22nd. We are thrilled to at last be having a full on grasshopper. I'm going to take some time today to go over the course to give you an idea of where it's gravel, where it's not, and give people suggestions of what equipment to ride. I know lots of folks have been reaching out to me asking what bike, what tires. So I will do my best to answer that question. Let's start out with a look of the map that you'll see when you have the ride with GPS um, from our website. Please remember to download and follow the course. There will be light markings, but you need to rely on your own navigation skills. Okay. So if you take a look at the course as we are right here, we're starting in Maxwell, Maxwell heading east, make a right hand turn, the red is pavement. This section right here is our first segment of gravel, going north, turning left, headed east, right? Gravel's in good condition, it is loose, it is dry, it is marbly, it's not too big. Could be okay on a road bike, could be even better on a little small uh, tired gravel bike. Hit the pavement, continue north, head west for the second segment of gravel. This right hand turn is at high speed, so be careful. Turning onto this and then back onto the pavement. All right, now right here, this is a very important part. It's when we turn from a small county road onto a state highway. Okay, so in heading this direction, we need to be extra careful. Everyone must stop here and make sure it's clear. Do not take any chances here, all right? The CHP knows we'll be out there that we're following the rules of the road. Uh, you cannot put yourself and others in danger simply to try and make a split or to catch somebody else, okay? So extreme caution. Those of you uh, who've been out to the hoppers know that we do a great job of looking after each other. It's why we've been doing this for 23 years. Next spot right here, boom. Left turn off of the highway, back onto the small country roads. This spot right over here, let me change our pen. This spot in here is a speedway, all right? So we're gonna see some traffic in here, either people coming to watch or to race their cars. So um, be careful, stay single file, make a safe left-hand turn onto this. All right, now, as you roll through this area, you'll see that you're gonna be going through the valleys. There's not a lot of climbing until you get to about this point where you start to climb up gradually before getting to the summit here, okay? Then there is a descent down into the feed zone. This is an important spot for everyone to stop. This is mile 45 on a 90 mile ride. This is your only aid station. In the morning, people will be giving us bags with two bottles or three bottles or two bottles and a hydration pack to get you the remainder of, of the race, which is another 45 miles. It's going to be hot out, all right? With COVID, it's the best way for us to manage the feed zones. There will be some backup water just in case on the course, but we're not providing hydrations typically that we do with the Osmo coolers. There'll be Osmo at the start for you guys to fill up, okay? People at the eat feed zone will insist that you do not leave with any less than two bottles. Personally, I would leave with two in a large hydration pack. We'll roll through here, continue on some gravel before we get to the point where it connects with the shorter course. Okay, up here at Sites Ladoga Road, down into here for the third segment of gravel into Leesville. Small segment of pavement. And then this is the Huffmaster grade climb about up to here. And at this summit, you'll have a descent of gravel on Huffmaster grade and then Huffmaster Road. Truly, you're descending from here about down into here in Maxwell before this, the six or seven miles straight lead out into the finish. Okay, so our next screen. So we're gonna go through the relive, relive for you guys to get an idea of the topography of the area. Okay. 
Okay, so again, we head out of Maxwell, we take a right-hand turn, it's still pavement. New gravel section, pavement. Okay. This is a view, you can see one of the canals here that goes through the Central Valley, then there's another one. As we tell the pro see the profile, we're gradually heading here, still rolling through the flats. This spot right here, as I mentioned, this is the important left left hand turn onto the highway. Proceed with caution. The racetrack. The next left hand turn, we're again to proceed with caution before turning onto paved rural roads. Okay, just around here is when we'll start to hit the dirt for the first uh, climb of the day. Okay, and at the summit here, if you look north on a clear day, you can see Shasta and Lassen, and to the west, the Mendocino National Forest, okay? Now, this descent, this next little bit that's right here, you need to be careful. There's a right-hand turn and a left-hand turn taken with too much speed and not knowing it could get you into trouble. And don't forget, these are gravel roads, but they are county roads open to traffic. Okay, this is our feed stop right here. This is where you must stop. You'll be carrying some speed into this corner in the left. It does not make sense to pass it, okay? You're gonna have a long view in here, stop. Uh, take things out of your bag, restock, and put your gear that you come in there, your bottles, or whatever, your trash, back into the bags. Do not just chuck them and expect people to clean them up. Okay, so right up here is when it connects into the shorter course. The preview you're seeing for right now with you guys is for the long 89 mile HuffMaster. Okay, Leesville, the town of Leesville, there's one house. So this is all gravel leading up to here, left-hand turn. It's pavement for about a mile until you get to HuffMaster grade. So notice, here we are coming up over the HuffMaster grade to the top here, and then we're gonna proceed down the shoulder here, okay? And down to HuffMaster Road. It's all gravel rolling through here. Okay, at the town, quote unquote, town of sights, you get back onto the pavement where we'll head down to the finish. This is where it's going to be interesting. If a small group gets away or a single rider over the climb, it's certainly going to be the interest of the uh, group behind to be working hard with lots of potential to catch them before the finish. And we'll finish in the town of Maxwell. It'll be signed at three and one kilometers to go into Maxwell. The road will not be closed. We'll have gas grasshopper banners and lots of cold drinks waiting for you guys. Okay. So now, a couple more minutes to give you just some visuals of what the rest of the course is looking like. Okay, this is the early gravel. As you can see, it's kind of what you'd expect gravel to look like. This is the descent of the top of the first gravel climb where I was saying to be careful heading towards the feed zone. It's high speed, can be loose, there can be some ruts. But as you can tell, it's not bad condition. You know, if experienced riders certainly can get away with the road bike with 30s. Okay. This is Huffmaster grade. You can see the conditions a little bit different. It's more packed dirt than gravel. These usually have a closed gate at each side, though it's a county road. We were there in February and HuffMaster grade had been scraped. It was in fantastic condition. This is our group cruising along, HuffMaster heading out towards the climb. So you could see by the road. Okay. All right, so now that you've seen those, you get an idea of where the gravel segments are. We're going in a counterclockwise loop. 